Elements of a Good Lesson Plan, Planning to Teach Culture. Now that we have looked at the elements of a good lesson plan, let's focus in a little bit more on our specific teaching learning goals. In this video, we will look at how we can prepare a lesson focused on teaching culture. Objectives. As with any lesson, we need first to be clear on our objectives. What do we want our students to learn? To help you define your objectives for your lessons on culture, consider which of the five dimensions of culture learning you want your students to learn about. The self as a cultural being, elements of culture, intercultural phenomena, that is cultural general learning, particular cultures, or acquiring strategies for learning about culture. Many scholars argue that helping learners understand themselves as cultural beings is an essential first step in developing intercultural competence. Frank suggests several questions that can guide this kind of lesson, including what symbols are prevalent in our culture? The three P's model from unit one can help inform a lesson about elements of culture. Using the iceberg metaphor, learners can explore surface elements of a culture, such as products, and compare these to subsurface and deep culture elements, which are usually practices and perspectives. Lessons covering intercultural phenomena can be rich opportunities for exploring intercultural encounters. Keep in mind that such encounters do not necessarily involve international travel. They could instead involve online encounters or the meeting of representatives from two different cultures or microcultures from within the same city. Studying particular cultures can be enhanced when framed by some of the concepts we explored in Unit 1, including symbolic meaning, high versus low context cultures, monochronic versus polychronic cultures, and individualism versus collectivism. The fifth dimension of culture learning is acquiring strategies for culture learning, that is, learning to learn. As you prepare a lesson on this, you might want to look again at Frank's characterization of interculturally competent learners. One of these is an understanding of social practices and products in both one's own culture and the target culture. Now, how can we turn this into a learning objective, describing observable and measurable behaviors? As it is written now, it is too broad. We would want to narrow our focus to one or two specific social practices or products. One possibility could be describe and compare wedding rituals in your country and in the United States. Sequencing. After you have determined the learning objectives for a lesson, you must decide on the activities that will lead you to this goal. Just as with language lessons, culture lessons should proceed from simpler activities that provide students with ample support to more open-ended activities in which students apply what they have learned. Timing. Culture lessons almost always take longer than teachers expect, especially for teachers who have less experience teaching culture lessons. Try to be as realistic in your timing as possible. You are very likely to find that students are so enthusiastic about the topic, they all want to say a lot. 
Think about how you will find an opportunity for all students to share their ideas with someone. This might be a great opportunity for small group or pair work. Differentiation. A variety of interaction styles, for example, individual versus group work, is one way to address different students' learning styles, needs, and interests. Your students will come into a culture lesson with different previous experiences, giving them the opportunity to share their personal experiences and allowing for more than one type of contribution in class are ways that you can turn their differences into an advantage. Assessment. Comprehension quizzes can be appropriate forms of assessment when it comes to factual knowledge. For other aspects of a culture lesson, you are likely to want to use a rubric. These can be used effectively with oral presentations, as well as writing assignments, and even dramatic and visual representations. Materials. Try to be creative in finding a way for your students to experience culture through multiple senses. You probably cannot offer them a full, authentic meal to introduce them to international cuisine, but look for small ways to engage their senses. Perhaps you can let them taste a tea from another country, or smell a soap that was bought abroad, or touch a coin from elsewhere, or watch and then try a popular dance from far away. Experiences that engage multiple senses can be extremely motivating for learners. Here's the list of references that were used in preparing this text.